Hello students, welcome to our next video tutorial. Uh, we are done with unit number 4 and we are going to proceed with unit number 5. As per syllabus, you might be knowing unit number 5 is Auxiliary Planes, it's heading. Auxiliary Planes. Auxiliary Planes. Or Auxiliary Projections. You have to remember this auxiliary planes or auxiliary projections. Now, first of all, you what what? So you remember 5W's concept. 5W's means first one is what? What is auxiliary plane? What do you mean by auxiliary? Auxiliary is nothing but helping. Uh, in simple words, which you can understand is nowadays you can see auxiliary cables, right? Which you can connect from your mobile phone to any stereo sets, TV sets, etc. Auxiliary means helping cable. Now, so auxiliary is nothing but helping. Plane is nothing but it's a flat surface, right? Auxiliary plane, helping plane, right? For what? Auxiliary projections. The projections, projections nothing but you know, right? Uh, to draw front view and top view. So basically, technical definition of projection is different. You remember when straight lines are drawn on counter of the object passing through the edges, falling on backside screen, uh, forming intersection. Those intersection of points. Joining in sequence will give you some a shape which or image which is nothing but our projection, right? That main projection concept for us to draw front view and top view as per first angle projection concept. Now, simple. Now, projection by auxiliary planes. Drawing projections by auxiliary helping, right? By helping of what planes? By taking the help of another plane, we are supposed to draw the projections of the drawings in the form of front view and top view simple draw taking the help of planes right drawing its projections right that's called as auxiliary projections see auxiliary planes it's a unit title auxiliary planes or projections in that projections of lines using auxiliary planes as per syllabus we have projections of lines and planes using auxiliary projections or auxiliary planes you have done already the content of uh, projections of lines, straight lines, inclined to one plane, both plane, true length, inclinations, alpha, beta, right? Uh, what you call last, finally, to traces, etc. All you have done, everything you know that concept. Same way, planes, planes you have done, planes inclined to one plane, its traces, inclined to both the planes, that also you covered. But how this is different from that, right? How this will be helpful more. Now, what, what is that? Uh, how you have to do that? All comes in the next category. Now, what is auxiliary projection to understand? Helping with the help of using some extra planes in the inside the reference plane, we use to draw projections. That is what? Now, mainly, why we need this? Do you, you understand what? Right? Next, why? Why you need this? Right, you so as I, as I am saying already, we know the concepts of projections of straight lines, planes, right? By uh, first angle projections, front view, top view, even some side views also we can draw. All we know this, but still what? Now see, there are some some areas where you cannot uh, find detailed drawings or detailed structures of the object, right? With the front view and top view, right? We have to see some some we have to see some additional things which which are inset which are inside that uh, that complete information regarding that particular size and shape of the object may be possible by taking some other other uh, help or other methods which is nothing but here like why you need to know about auxiliary planes or auxiliary projection means uh, to know more detail about the size and shape of the objects at some applications at some applications we can use this it may be civil structural drawings or civil elevation drawings, mechanical gear drawings, automobiles, spare parts, etc. Anyway, that is why. Right. Uh, uh, this this mainly also we are we can also show some additional views where you can use this means uh, when where whenever you require to show some additional views beyond front view, top view, side view. Additional views. Right. So what is this additional view? See so for suppose uh, I don't have any object to show you. If I take any object, something like a, uh, a, a, a whatever, for example, I am drawing, you know this as a cone. Right? Front view, 
it will look like a triangle, top view it will look like a circle. Some additional view if you have to show means, you can take the help of auxiliary plane, in some way any detail in here you have to show means, you take some additional and you can show it here, right? But that to in order to show any additional, right? Any additional views known as auxiliary views. Auxiliary views means helping views. When you are showing complete full front view, complete top view, right? For suppose I said a building, a building front view is completely called as elevation, top view is completely called as plan. But still inside you have to show something. Or in the elevation part you have to show some window. Right, then you can window door, right? A something frame, which you can use these views, auxiliary views. Uh, mainly, what is this auxiliary plane? Right, how you will see the procedure. But what is this auxiliary plane means? It's an helping plane, which will be inclined to both reference planes. Right, you understand? Auxiliary plane is an helping is a helping plane, which will be inclined to both reference planes. No, what are the reference planes? I hope you all remember this. Horizontal plane, vertical plane, x, y. Right? These are two reference plane. Principal planes, reference planes, principal planes, horizontal plane and vertical plane. Now we are at here first angle. We will be using this concept for now here. I am drawing, I am, I will be taking one more plane, something like here, see how I can draw this, I am taking one more plane inside those, right, above HP in front of VP, inside another plane, right, that type of planes will be useful for us to show our project of the regular thing onto the helping plane, onto the helping plane, you have to remember this, right, Projects auxiliary plane is a helping plane which is inside the principles, right? Which will be inclined to the which will be inclined to the reference planes. Example, how can I can show it? Right? See, we are at first angle projection. First angle projection means if I am showing like this, above HP in front of VP. These two are reference planes. HP VP first angle above HP in front VP. Actually, it will be like this if you follow this concept and for your convenient purpose. Only. Now, auxiliary plane is another helping plane which will be inclined to this. Now, if you can observe, you can easily notice this plane is inclined to HP perpendicular to VP. You understand? An auxiliary plane is a helping plane which will be inclined to one reference plane and perpendicular to the other plane. How you can use this concept, we will solve the problems, but you have to understand what is see if, if this is hp vp easily you can understand now is another plane which is like this this one is auxiliary plane right now uh, uh, what about, why why they are mainly used right why they are mainly used means the views which are drawn with the help of this auxiliary planes right views the views Views are nothing but front view and top view. The views which are drawn with the help of these auxiliary planes will be very helpful in determining the true shapes of the objects in detail. Right? Remember this, the true shape of the objects in detail. That is what simple introduction about auxiliary planes. Remember, you are supposed to remember what is auxiliary plane means. It is a helping plane which is used to draw the projections. Why we need to mix you, you, it will be very helpful for us to give more details about our projections. It may be front view or top view. Now, uh, how you will discuss where auxiliary, where it will be located actually, right? Auxiliary plane is a helping plane which will be inclined to one, any one reference plane and perpendicular to the other, right? Reference planes are nothing but horizontal plane and vertical plane. Hope you all understand this simple introduction. Before proceeding to the exercises, we are, you are supposed to know types. Types of auxiliary planes. How many types are there? Mainly there are two types. How many types? Two types. Right, let me, number one, right? Auxiliary 
inclined plane number 2 auxiliary vertical plane right what is auxiliary inclined plane a plane you know a plane which is inclined to any one of the reference plane and perpendicular to the other reference plane in we as we are doing in first angle projection above hp in front of vp auxiliary inclined plane means it is a plane inclined to hp perpendicular to vp auxiliary vertical plane opposite right it is a plane inclined to vp perpendicular to hp i hope you understand see i can show you horizontal plane vertical plane right another plane auxiliary plane is another plane which will take the help in drawing projections how i will directly show the problem right now see auxiliary inclined plane means this is inclined like this this is inclined like this now this plane is plane inclined to hp you can see here theta inclined to hp now here perpendicular to vp perpendicular to vp clear now second one auxiliary vertical plane plane inclined to vp perpendicular to hp now this is perpendicular to hp inclined to vp which view you can see top view top view now if you observe here this is a auxiliary plane which is inclined to vp perpendicular to hp hope you understand right auxiliary inclined plane means inclined to hp perpendicular to vp auxiliary vertical plane means inclined to vp perpendicular to hp in terms of hp if you have to remember inclined inclined to hp vertical means inclined to vp it's opposite you have to remember now as we discussed we are supposed to draw auxiliary projections auxiliary projections with the help of this auxiliary planes now with the help of auxiliary inclined plane auxiliary inclined plane right what you can draw is right auxiliary top view a t v remember this auxiliary inclined plane will give auxiliary top view now this opposite auxiliary vertical plane will give auxiliary front view a f v why you understand the concept it will be easy for you to justify and identify which is auxiliary inclined plane which is auxiliary because as you know the real concept it is helping concept for us auxiliary vertical plane use auxiliary front view of auxiliary inclined plane inclined to hp when it is inclined to hp it will be perpendicular to vp auxiliary vertical plane plane inclined to vp perpendicular to hp auxiliary inclined plane will give auxiliary top view auxiliary vertical plane will give auxiliary front view right why you have to know this mainly the important concept is with respect to projections of straight lines this auxiliary planes are mainly to identify true lengths true lengths of the line we have determined true lengths of the line with the regular concepts with this concept also we can easily draw the true lengths right and at the also same time uh, uh what do you call that projections correction what do you call this conventional projections conventional projections means uh when you go to next uh, unit we will see conventional projections when you are giving some detail about the drawings we have to show one more projection beyond its front view top view now see you know xy line we will draw we will draw above xy front view top view right first angle projection now beyond this if you have to show anything in detail right we have to 
use this types of auxiliary, what we call auxiliary planes to conventional projection. See mainly uh, this is very useful, this concept is very useful in your next semester, next uh, part to uh, graphics, part to graphics, right? There you will have projections of solids and sections of solids concepts, right? Then this concept is very useful. That's why you, you have to listen this very carefully. Why? Because projections of lines already you know. By using this auxiliary planes concept, how you can solve the problems, right? That is what here concept. I hope you all uh, you understand, right? In the main thing, you have to remember what is auxiliary planes or auxiliary, auxiliary projection. Auxiliary plane is a helping plane which is used to draw the projections, first of all. Now, what is, right? What is, mean where you can use this auxiliary planes means where it is located means auxiliary plane is a plane which is located, right? Which is located as inclined to one plane perpendicular to the other. Two important points. Types, two types. Auxiliary inclined plane, auxiliary vertical plane. Auxiliary inclined means above HP in front of VP. Inclined to HP, perpendicular to VP. Inclined to HP means here, theta, perpendicular to VP. Auxiliary inclined plane. Auxiliary inclined plane will be used to draw which view? Auxiliary top view. Right? Auxiliary inclined plane is used to draw auxiliary top view. Auxiliary vertical plane. Auxiliary vertical plane. Right? In this vertical plane, Inclined to VP perpendicular to HP. Inclined to VP perpendicular 90 degrees to HP. Auxiliary vertical plane is used to draw auxiliary front view. Auxiliary front view. These are the two important answers which you have to remember. Inclined plane, top view. Vertical plane, front view. Now these are the topics which you have to remember and we will proceed to the problem solutions. This is just introduction part. You are all supposed to know that and you are supposed to draw the answers. We, we shall proceed to the answers right, as part of exercise. Uh, what is this? I hope you know exercise number 10, problem number 1. Right? Let me look at the question. Uh, this, this may take some much time. A straight line AB of 75 mm length e is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. The end A of the line is 25 mm above HP, 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections by auxiliary plane method. By auxiliary plane method. Up to here, it's a regular question which you have already practiced. Already practiced. See, you remember we, we, we have practiced by writing some given data. What is the strike line given? AB of what length? 75 mm. What length is this? True length. Right? Now inclined to 30 degrees to HP. 30 degrees to HP means theta 30 degrees. NDA of the line is 25 mm above HP. Height of A point 25 mm. And 20 in front. In front is nothing but we have distance. 20 mm. Draw the projections. Right? This is the direct problem which you have solved directly. Simple, if you remember what we have done, when you know theta, we can draw it directly. X, Y line, A point, height, 25, distance, 20. This we have practiced. Theta. Theta will be in, will be viewed in which view? Will be visible in front view. Now here at an angle of 30 degrees, theta, we have to draw 75 mm true length. This becomes A dash, B dash. We will draw the projectors. A, B. This is true length. This is diminishing length which you have to find. Now what case is this? Right, you can find line inclined to HP and parallel to VP with the with the with this 
concept we have solved problems in our previous unit this is the answer directly we have drawn but actually procedure is when you take line right line and you hope you understand this is a line blackboard or whiteboard vertical plane ground is horizontal plane now what is this condition line parallel to both the planes we have height same h between the two points distance same between two points already we discussed everything this now if i take this like this second height as not given but we have inclination with respect to theta inclined to sorry parallel to both the planes if i take in front side right distance d d1 angle of inclination phi all these concepts we have used but how you have to use this auxiliary plane method auxiliary plane method simple auxiliary plane method this you remember answer true length diminution length we have to find that's what but here also we have to find how you have to find the diminution length i'm erasing this because already you know this concept you just uh, i'm just uh, i'm just want to recall now before proceeding the details whatever the details i have written you can write for this also ab 75 mm theta 30 degrees height 25 mm distance 20 mm auxiliary plane method means i will i will let me explain about the concept Sorry, HP VP. I'm taking this as line, line parallel to both the planes, right? Now I have I'm keeping my pen like this, line inclined to HP parallel to VP, height H, distance D, theta angle. Now you can draw it directly, but auxiliary plane means now what is auxiliary plane? Auxiliary inclined plane. We have to take the help here. I can handle all the things, right? See, you you remember this? This plane is which plane? Oh my God! Ah. Yeah. Horizontal reference plane, vertical reference plane, horizontal principal plane, vertical principal plane, auxiliary inclined plane. Auxiliary inclined plane means inclined to HP, perpendicular to VP. now generally what is our concept if i remove this plane if i keep my pen or my line like this front view when you are doing or when you are looking this will be projected on vertical reference plane above x y which we have drawn top view will be a diminution line which will be projected on h p as per concept rotate this 90 degrees which comes below x y as per concept now here auxiliary plane means what it will do when you are looking from here it will be projected to this now when you are looking from top it will be projected to this now i am using auxiliary plane here now this inclined plane is like this we have to take this auxiliary plane in parallel to the line in parallel to the line of inclination this line of inclination here given is 30 degrees now when i have this 30 degrees i have to take my plane at angle of 30 degrees parallel to the line parallel to the line now here projection means i have to look from here oops projection means i have to look from here this will be projected backward projected from top it will be projected to the top now at the same time as the angle is here i have to look from bottom in parallel to the line when i look when i keep a torch this will be falling on this helping plane auxiliary plane hope you understand with the original concepts when i am looking from here and i am keeping torch this line shadow will be falling on horizontal plane back side for which you have drawn answer like this Degrees. Now top view it will be falling on x y, so we have found our diminution length with respect to true length. Now I have to go my view in parallel to the 30 degrees from bottom, right? When I look here, this has to be 
projected on this right where it will be projected it will be projected on auxiliary view now when you are looking from there this auxiliary plane is a straight line right that's that that gives one more reference line one reference line already we have is xy one more reference line x1 y1 now what i am doing is you know that very well when i am looking from here from bottom this line shadow will be falling here you remember horizontal plane you rotated clockwise direction 90 degrees to get top view now here auxiliary inclined plane will be giving auxiliary top view you remember first i explained auxiliary inclined plane one type auxiliary vertical plane second type auxiliary inclined plane first type will give auxiliary top view projection auxiliary vertical plane second type will give auxiliary front view projection now if you keep this line here looking from here this will be projected but how to show in a plane this line has to be rotated like this right here comes the line now here horizontal plane it will be open like this finally xy line front view top view auxiliary right now how to draw is before drawing we are supposed to and what we call assume line will be parallel to both the planes what we have to assume line is parallel to both the planes 75 mm long line parallel to both the planes with the height 25 mm and 20 mm simple i am drawing see this x y reference line a dash at 25 a Twenty. Assuming first thing, not inclination parallel. Parallel means of seventy-five mm long line. You are supposed to draw B dash B. Of how much distance? Two length, right? What is this? You can show it as two length of seventy-five. now you are supposed to draw auxiliary inclined plane auxiliary inclined plane hp vp auxiliary inclined plane is inclined to hp perpendicular to vp if this is the position right inclined to hp perpendicular to vp from front view when you are looking it is looking like a inclined line straight line right where here above x y line now what you have to do is draw one more line draw one more line where you have to draw on this x y line above anywhere you have to draw one more reference line x1 y1 what is that x1 y1 anywhere you should not touch our main diagram you should not at what angle you have to draw this angle should be 30 degrees which is nothing but theta why as i explained we are supposed to make our auxiliary view in parallel to the inclination parallel to the inclination given inclination is 30 degrees so we are drawing new reference line x1 y1 at an angle of 30 degrees what is this actually it is a i p auxiliary inclined plane which is inclined to hp perpendicular to vp now from here it's little bit different we have to draw perpendicular projectors from the front view above x1 y1 remember we have to draw the projectors so what projectors see i am i am just showing the projectors how you have to draw already you have drawn x1 y1 take perpendicular scale right for this x1 y1 that means what i am drawing this with the help of drafter you can draw from here to here
this should be 90 degrees you should not touch x1 y1 you have to keep away you have to draw new x1 y1 which is auxiliary inclined plane inclined to hp theta perpendicular to bp now you have to draw two projectors onto x1 y1 at 90 degrees to which line x1 y1 understand now from here you have to extend this projectors to particular some length right what particular length what particular length as you know auxiliary inclined plane will be giving auxiliary top view top view lens whatever you have that length has to be extended here auxiliary top view here we will get auxiliary top view you have to extend these lines right above this x1 y1 above this x1 y1 to what length this length now what is this length you can just i am giving symbols these two are same now whatever the length is there that length here you just try to extend them these two right these lines indicate symbols indicates what this and this is same 20 this and this is same but here these two are not same they are just helping now finally what you have to do is now you will get new points what are those new points this one and this one this is written as a1 this is written as b1 now try to draw the line which is your answer which is auxiliary top view now you have to measure this length find out the dimension which is diminishing length which is diminishing length auxiliary top view see you see this is true length in the front view true length in the top view same 75 taking parallel after that auxiliary inclined plane we have drawn right you have just drawn perpendicular if you draw if you do not draw this perpendicular lines here see perpendicular perpendicular if you do not draw entire will be wrong understand this concept auxiliary how to draw means this is the procedure which you have to regular regular procedure you know this is already which i have drawn first x y line 25 20 30 degrees angle A dash, B dash, A, B. This is diminishing length which you have found. It is true length. From here, this is regular which you know already. From here. This is the thing which you will find in top view. Instead of finding in top view, we have just assumed first parallel to both the planes. So 25 mm height, 75 mm long. 20 mm distance, 75 mm long. After that, we have drawn auxiliary inclined plane which is at an angle of 30 degrees whatever the angle you they give in the question that angle has to be drawn 30 degrees that 30 degrees when you draw like this right you should not come in contact with the main drawing now that is called as auxiliary inclined plane auxiliary inclined plane is inclined to hp 30 degrees here after that from this point draw perpendicular perpendicular to x1 y1 for that x1 y1 you have to align keep the draft turn perpendicular to these distances you will get points right if you know that points you know that's it's already a dash b dash now you you cannot do new right x1 y1 on x1 y1 you just need points from there you have to extend these two lines from the other view from the other view of the length which is nothing but top view 20 20 if you try to join you will get division. Finally, I can tell you that each you have found here, this will be same. But the answer is this which you have to follow. Very important. Hope you understand. See, beyond this, if I have to explain, you will get more confused. Simple, assume parallel both the planes. First, draw the two length in the front view, two length in the top view. After that, the main thing is new reference line x1 y1 x1 y1 this is x1 this is y1 at an angle of 30 sir why 30 because 
given in the question theta line is inclined to hp when line is inclined to hp we have to draw auxiliary inclined plane type auxiliary inclined plane indicates it is inclined to hp perpendicular to vp and it is used to draw auxiliary top view which i have explained in the introduction part now after that from this x1 y1 your uh, front view will be at some distance try to join them right those joining line should be 90 degrees should be 90 degrees to what x1 y1 after that those lines are to be extended with the length of the top view not with the front view top view 20 20 join them we will get new points a1 b1 we will get the diminishing length hope you all understand still if you have any doubts you can contact me at any time right thank you